you know, I think that's the beauty of Ron Burgundy. We could have we could have done a sequel now. We could have done a sequel in five more years. It's he's kind of uh, <laughs> he's kind of fits into any era in a weird way. Uh, uh, but once we kind of came up with an idea that we liked, uh, the, we we felt like oh, this will be this will be exciting. I saw the person dressed as a lamp. How surprised were you at that's the top popularity, particularly that night? It's stunning that that it sort of seeped into the culture that way. I, um, it's 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 bizarre. Let's face it. You know, we did this little thing ten years ago, and it was a reasonable success. But at the time, it didn't cause much of a wave. But then, all these years later, it, it sort of picked up steam. <laughs> While some experts say that silicone breast implants are dangerous, unhealthy, and degrading to women, I say, in the most journalistic way I can, bring on the fun bags. Now, Brian, I read somewhere, and tell me if this is true, that some of the silicone breast implants were filled with taco meat. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, you saw that, yeah. It must be quite difficult to get through scenes. Some well, it is every once in a while. It's impossible to try and keep, you know, one's composure. And I was pretty bad at it several times. We all were. Some days more than others. But there's the pressure of ruining somebody else's take. And if they do something funny, it's te you, you feel terrible. As soon as Will said that whole thing about taco meat, I tried my hardest not to laugh. And thankfully, there was just a little moment before where you could, I remember thinking, like, you can cut it, and I, and I didn't ruin it, because that was just the funniest thing I'd ever heard. It is. It actually is a little bit difficult, and, and I think all of us have shifted the characters a little bit. It's hard to like spend nine years away from something and then jump in and remember exactly what you were doing. What do they love about him? I think he's so damaged. And all of us are damaged inside just a little bit. So, or, uh, for the grace of God, go I. Well, I think it's what's important with comedy is that you approach it like a drama. You know, even if it's ridiculous, you got to treat it like there are real stakes. And, um, you know, that's where, that's, where the, that's where the funny comes from. I don't know. Um, a sequel. We couldn't believe it when... The movie started getting quoted, and for Halloween, we... it, it's a free for all in the states. And you know, most of our country doesn't know anything. There's a lot of misinformation flowing around. So to get into that world would be a little irresponsible to not comment on that. You know, the number one thing for us is also that it's funny. So uh, sadly, it's also very funny. It's one of those movies that's really fun to watch 35 times. It gets funnier every time you watch it. In editing, every time we watched it, we would notice a new weird thing Steve Carell was doing in the background, and it grows on you like a fungus. I, this is the first year I've really felt like it's ridiculous to do awards because there are so many movies that deserve a lot of attention. I mean, is... Fruitvale Station, better than her, or better than 12 Years a Slave, or better than, you know, uh, American Hustle, or Wolf of Wall Street. It's just such a great, I'm just happy movies have been great this year. I have a good feeling about uh, the cast of Downton Abbey.